Good evening. It's uh, Saturday night. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I worked all week and it was the first week of the year of 2016. Um, the week turned out, well, disappointing for any other week of the year, but for the first week of the year, it turned out okay. I made enough money to buy some whiskey. I didn't buy expensive whiskey. I bought budget-priced whiskey. Now, I just finished my bottle of Bushmills Black Bush. It was good. It, it drank itself. It was so good. It just it just disappeared in, in like, how long have I had it? Maybe a month or two? It's like, phoop, gone. And that's when I have all these other whiskeys to drink, too. Well, I wanted to replenish my Irish row of whiskeys, so um, this one here will replace the Black Bush. It is a Kilbegan. Now, I didn't know anything about Kilbegan, if you can get all the letters of the... It, it says it's tra traditional Irish whiskey. What's interesting about it is most Irish whiskeys are triple distilled. This one is only double distilled. And it's 40% alcohol by volume. So I suppose if I was to add some water to it, it would um, it would show some misting because it would have all the uh, the proteins still in it, which would which are traditional or usually um, usually distilled out by the third distillation. But this has only been distilled twice, so it will have more flavor than your typical Irish whiskey. It doesn't say much else about it, just that it's traditional, and Kilbegan is apparently the oldest continually operating distillery in Ireland. So this is going to be a, something different. You know, there are variations in Irish whiskey, but you have to look for them hard. I just saw this on the shelf was something that I've never tried before, so I just bought it. I only read the label afterwards, but, you know, I like to try everything. So it looks like it has the screw cap. Yep, it's got the screw cap. To keep costs down. Let's get some in the glass there, shall we? That's about the right amount. Put this back on so we won't spill any. I think I dropped one, one, one drop dripped on me. Okay. Well now, we had some black bush which was nice and sweet. What is this going to be like? I'm trying to get a nose out of this thing. It's subtle. You know what I'm getting? Bubble gum. It's like Bazooka Joe bubble gum from when I was a kid. The ones with the little comics in them. It's strange. But there's a hint there's a hint of that. Let's see what else can I get? Okay. Now I'm getting a multi, multi kind of aroma after that initial Bazooka Joe bubblegum. <laughs> that was very slight and I was getting nothing at first, then that came out. Okay, multi. Hint of fruit. Pear. Pear apples, like Granny Smith apples. And there's still that multi note. Multi apples, pears, okay. So that's probably quite a young whiskey. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. That was enthusiastic swirling. Okay, let's get a taste. Oh, it's light. Oh, wait. There's the caramel note in, in the aftertaste. It's very light. Light and fruity. Caramel in the aftertaste. There's a hint of something sour too. As if it was aged in ex bourbon barrels. Sweet and sour. That is quite an aftertaste. The aftertaste lingers on. And there's that sweet and sour, somewhat fruity, but um, caramel, like from ex bourbon. It's quite a nice taste. I would like more alcohol in this to carry the flavor some more. It tastes a little bit washed out. Maybe that's a product of the cask, casks that were used. Yeah, there's that malty nose again. Apples, pears. It's a pleasant little drum. Yeah, a lot of caramel again. Not so much vanilla, although there is a hint of it there in the aftertaste. More caramel than vanilla. And with the pears and apple flavors, it's not really complex. There's not really that much going on there, but the few flavors that there are are pleasant. Um, I don't believe this is as easy drinking as some. It's not as easy drinking as Black Bush, but actually there is a somewhat of a hint of bitterness too. Try that again. Okay. Some caramel, yeah, same same nose. To taste again, pears, apples. There's a lot of caramel. A hint of vanilla as before. I could drink this daily. The taste lingers on. And then there's kind of a hint of bitterness at the very end. After the, the fruit and the caramel trail off, there's, there's a bitterness sort of on the sides. It's a mouth-watering bitterness too. Interesting. Well, this stuff is good. I like it. I wasn't expecting anything more or anything less. It's a good, honest, straightforward, 
double distilled, not triple distilled Irish whiskey. So it has a little more flavor. The flavors are more intense. The caramel and the, the bitterness at the end are more intense than you would expect from your triple distilled Irish whiskey. It's all right. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>